3. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B or C. Question one. You hear a young actor talking about a colleague. Just watching her work is very useful. I've only been acting for about a year, so I've got so much to learn. When you meet someone who's as famous as she is, there's always a bit of nerves. She's an intelligent actor, and everything she does seems so effortless. As I've got such a small part in the drama, I get to stand around a lot during the scenes, and it means I can watch and learn from her. She's very composed when she's acting. She takes her time to say her lines. Just watching her work is very useful. I've only been acting for about a year, so I've got so much to learn. When you meet someone who's as famous as she is, there's always a bit of nerves. She's an intelligent actor, and everything she does seems so effortless. As I've got such a small part in the drama... I get to stand around a lot during the scenes, and it means I can watch and learn from her. She's very composed when she's acting. She takes her time to say her lines. Question 2. You hear two friends talking about a colleague. I don't know how he does it. He gets into the office before everyone else in the morning, and he's also always the last to leave. He must be exhausted all the time. He seems pretty fit, though, and whenever I see him at the weekends, he looks relaxed and happy. Maybe he just likes getting everything done before he goes home. Yeah, maybe you're right, but he earns just the same as we do, and that's not much. It's not too bad, though, is it? And I think he'll be promoted before any of the rest of us are. He's obviously very keen. There's no denying that. I don't know how he does it. He gets into the office before everyone else in the morning, and he's also always the last to leave. He must be exhausted all the time. He seems pretty fit, though, and whenever I see him at the weekends, he looks relaxed and happy. Maybe he just likes getting everything done before he goes home. Yeah, maybe you're right, but he earns just the same as we do, and that's not much. It's not too bad, though, is it? And I think he'll be promoted before any of the rest of us are. He's obviously very keen. There's no denying that. Question 3. You hear an author talking about his new book. Thanks for inviting me to come on the program and talk about my new book. I thought the book might never happen when I was sitting at my desk day after day. I wish the words would simply flow out like they did when I was writing my other books. Sometimes I wondered if I'd ever get it finished. Of course, I know it's unlikely to become a bestseller, but I hope that my loyal readers will enjoy it. They'll recognize some of the characters from my first novel. Older and wiser, at least in some cases. Thanks for inviting me to come on the program and talk about my new book. I thought the book might never happen when I was sitting at my desk day after day. I wish the words would simply flow out like they did when I was writing my other books. Sometimes I wondered if I'd ever get it finished. Of course, I know it's unlikely to become a bestseller, but I hope that my loyal readers will enjoy it. They'll recognize some of the characters from my first novel. Older and wiser, at least in some cases. Question 4. You hear two friends talking about something they saw on TV. It's funny, really, but I just didn't get it. 
Everyone was talking about it, but I just thought it was silly. You mean you wanted more information? Exactly. I mean, what's the point of something like that?、Mm. It didn't even make me laugh. Oh, come on! You have to admit it was pretty funny. Well, I didn't think so, and it was annoying the way everybody whistled the tune all the time. Why on earth would that make me buy something? I think you're too serious sometimes. It was just a bit of fun. If you want to find out more, then look on the internet. It's funny, really, but I just didn't get it. Everyone was talking about it, but I just thought it was silly. You mean you wanted more information? Exactly. I mean, what's the point of something like that?、Mm. It didn't even make me laugh. Oh, come on! You have to admit it was pretty funny. Well, I didn't think so. And it was annoying the way everybody whistled the tune all the time. Why on earth would that make me buy something? I think you're too serious sometimes. It was just a bit of fun. If you want to find out more, then look on the internet. Question five: You hear an office manager talking about her work. You know how it is. As soon as you finished one project, you have to get started on something else, and it's often something completely different. I don't find that a problem, though, and I enjoy the fact that I can get it done effectively. After all, I've been in this job for a long time, so I think I can say I know what I'm doing. I wish that was true of the people I'm working with. I reckon if I didn't keep checking, they'd never get on with things. Though I guess I'm not feeling very motivated about this project either. You know how it is. As soon as you've finished one project, you have to get started on something else, and it's often something completely different. I don't find that a problem, though, and I enjoy the fact that I can get it done effectively. After all, I've been in this job for a long time, so I think I can say I know what I'm doing. I wish that was true of the people I'm working with. I reckon if I didn't keep checking, they'd never get on with things. Though I guess I'm not feeling very motivated about this project either. Question six: You overhear two friends talking in a restaurant. Mmm, delicious soup. You think so? It's a bit hot, isn't it? What do you mean hot? Too many spices or the temperature? It burned my mouth. Well, you should have had something else. There was plenty to choose from. There may have been for you, but don't forget, I'm a vegetarian. There wasn't much there for me. But at least we haven't paid a fortune for it. Hmm. I couldn't even make it at home for that price. But I still think we should go somewhere else next time. Mmm, delicious soup. You think so? It's a bit hot, isn't it? <laughs> What do you mean hot? Too many spices or the temperature? It burned my mouth. Well, you should have had something else. There was plenty to choose from. There may have been for you, but don't forget, I'm a vegetarian. There wasn't much there for me. But at least we haven't paid a fortune for it. Hmm. I couldn't even make it at home for that price. But I still think we should go somewhere else next time. Question seven: You hear a woman talking about her neighbor's holiday photographs. They always invite us round for dinner after they've been on holiday and show us all the photos they've taken. I didn't like the dinner much, but of course I didn't say anything. They go to some interesting places, and they actually do pretty well considering they don't have expensive equipment or any training as photographers. I wish I could remember the name of the place they went to this summer. Hmm, that's really annoying. I should have written it down. I'll have to ask them next time I see them. They always invite us round for dinner after they've been on holiday and show us all the photos they've taken. I didn't like the dinner much, but of course I didn't say anything. They go to some interesting places, and they actually do pretty well considering they don't have expensive equipment or any training as photographers. I wish I could remember the name of the place they went to this summer. Hmm, that's really annoying. I should have written it down. I'll have to ask them next time I see them. Question eight: You hear two friends talking about a concert they've just been to. 
I really enjoyed that. Didn't you? Despite the technical problems at the beginning. Wonderful. Spanish flamenco music just makes you want to get up and dance. I noticed you standing up at one stage. Yeah, but that was to get a better view. Ah, uh, yes. Pity we were at the back. But it was all that was available when I bought the tickets on Friday. I know, but next time we must book earlier. It was very hot in there. Did that bother you? I just kept thinking it was like summer in Spain. <laughs> I loved all the singing and the rhythm of the sticks they beat on the floor. Me too. I really enjoyed that. Didn't you? Despite the technical problems at the beginning. Wonderful. Spanish flamenco music just makes you want to get up and dance. I noticed you standing up at one stage. Yeah, but that was to get a better view. Ah, uh, yes. Pity we were at the back. But it was all that was available when I bought the tickets on Friday. I know, but next time we must book earlier. It was very hot in there. Did that bother you? I just kept thinking it was like summer in Spain. <laughs> I loved all the singing and the rhythm of the sticks they beat on the floor. Me too. That is the end of part one.